Good morning and hi everyone. Thank you for joining this week's Fun Fact Friday. <clears throat> Today we're going to be going over your smart number and creating text codes. My name is Rebecca and I'm part of the Allison James Estates and Home Support Team. We go live on Facebook every Friday at 10 a.m. PST to discuss different ways for you to improve in your real estate business. Any questions or comments that you have regarding what we're talking about today, I'd love to talk about them with you. Just post them in the comment section below. Um, you can post anything in the comment section below either if you have any other questions or comments, and I'd love to talk with you. So today we're going to be talking about smart numbers and text codes and what they are. Smart numbers are the, is the office number that is linked to your phone and your KV Core Smart CRM. Every agent has a smart number in their KV Core, and I'll show you today how to utilize them. But first, what does your smart number know? Your smart number knows your cell phone number and the cell phones of the other users in your office or your account. Your smart number knows your contacts phone numbers that are in your smart CRM database. Your smart number knows your office numbers. It knows which contacts and the leads belong to whom. There's um, only one lead per agent, so there can't be multiple leads. And so your, your smart number knows who has spoke with that lead last. And your smart number knows who contacted which contact last. Also, which auto communications went to which contact last. So any of your smart campaigns that have gone out, which auto communications were sent to that last contact. Now, where do my contacts see this smart number? Well, your contacts will see this number if you are calling your contact through the KV Core mobile dialer or through KV Core. It is basically a three-way call and the smart number displays to your contact when you are calling them. I was um, reading a little bit more about the smart number and how agents kind of get through letting their contacts know why they have a different number or different numbers. Um, so if they're contacting, they would give two numbers to their clients. One would be the smart number and one would be their agent number. Their smart number, they would just let them know that that's their marketing number and how they will be contacting them. Just a little tip. Um, if your contact visits your KV Core website, they may see your smart number on it. So that's another place where your contacts will see it. And if you're using custom text codes, in the future, your leads will be sending text to the smart number. If you already have those leads in your contacts, though, you will be receiving their phone number, not coming from the smart number. If your smart campaign has any text messages in it, those texts are going um, are sent to the lead from the smart number or your marketing number. Um, and if your text and leads contacts um, via KB Core, those texts are sent to them from the smart number. So again, um, any texts that are sent out, it does get sent through the smart number, and that's what they're seeing. Now, I like marketing number, you know, it just is more appropriate, I would say, to somebody who doesn't know what a smart number is. It just sounds better, in my opinion, of course. Um, all right, and we're also gonna go over text codes today. So creating a text code will allow you to capture leads through a specific listing or through landing pages, squeeze pages, etc. So I put an example up here, um, text 234 Irish Street for more information to say your smart number. So that's just one of the text codes that you would be able to utilize. All right, so let's get started. It's pretty simple to do. Um, we'll kind of go mostly in depth with the text codes today. So to get to the um, text codes and smart number, what you're going to do is go to lead engine on the left-hand side of your KV Core platform. And then once you're in the lead engine, you're gonna scroll down a little bit and see call capture here, 
where it says use your smart number for advertising. Select get started. And in here, you'll be able to see your office smart number. You could see your smart number here, and you can also view your smart number up here on the top right hand side as well. Now again, it goes a little bit more in depth here on what the smart number is. Um, so if you wanted to read a little bit more into it, you are more than welcome to at any time. And now down here is your agent text code. Now every agent has their own text code and it's most likely their first name. And that text code kind of follows you along. Um, if you were to move to a different office, you'll always have this text code. And it goes a little bit more in depth here with what the text code is. Now up here is where you can create custom text codes on the top right hand side here. And it does let you know your smart number um, has text message capabilities. Here is the custom code. If you were to put in an MLS to send to that custom code when people text that, you will have the MLS ID number right here. Now if you had a custom message, you'd be able to put that in there and then what smart number that is coming from. You can edit these too, which is pretty neat. So if you had short sales or something, say, say you wanted to edit what the custom message is, you're able to go back to that and edit that custom codes so you don't have to keep creating new flyers. All right, so I'm just gonna select add new here. Custom code. So the custom code here I'm going to put in is San Diego, let's see, text, San Diego listings, Diego listings, under 500K. I'm gonna use this, say I want to um, farm an area and I wanted to have listings, um, someone to you know just capture their eye about listings in San Diego that are under $500,000. So I'll be texting this in order to get that. Now I'm not gonna be using an MLS ID number, but if you did have one, you would put it right here. I did create a squeeze page which we have learned how to do this in previous um, KV Core Fun Fact Fridays. So I just put in the search criteria here for the city of San Diego, neighborhood of San Diego, and the county of San Diego, and the price as a maximum of 500,000. I put in the source here, tax code, so that way if I were to look in my business analytics and see where these leads are coming from, I'll be able to know it came from the text code. And then the hashtag. So I put buyer text code here um, as a hashtag and you can use any hashtags you'd like. Now here's the link that you would use. Um, I will just click on this one, copy it to my clipboard and I'll be able to view that up here. And I'll put that in just so I can see if this is something I'd want to use and put on my flyers. So 1,500 results in San Diego. People can search on here on which areas they'd like to go. I think I'd like this one. So what I'm going to do is copy the short link here. Command C. And I'm going to place this in my reply message or link so I can write Hi, um, I'm sorry, I'm not available right now. Please um, check out these listings. And then I'll put in the code and I'll say, um, for or these listings for under 500k in San Diego. And then I'll add that link in there and then I'll say I will be giving you a call shortly 
to see if you have any questions. All right, and then I'll put from Rebecca. And I guess I could put Thompson too. And then smart number, so I'll select my smart number here, and I'm going to add that in there. So now I can create flyers um, or put the smart number or text code really anywhere um, and have them text uh, San Diego listings under 500K to this number and they will uh, send that out and receive this message to send. So it's pretty simple. Um, you can utilize this in many different areas. Um, Highly recommend it. If you do have any other questions about the smart number or the text codes, I, again, would be more than happy to talk about them with you. Um, but this is a really awesome tool, you guys. I really um, hope that you guys can utilize it. And um, that's pretty much it for today's KV Core uh, Fun Fact Friday. Now, if you do want to learn more about KV Core, you're more than welcome to schedule your one-on-one -on -one with me um, anytime using the Calendly link down here at the bottom, Allison James Inc., and I would be more than happy to have a one-on-one -on -one with you. I also go over our other platforms, such as AGI University, I'll go over Skyslope, and of course, KV Core. Feel free to give me a call anytime, too, um, if you do have any questions, maybe things that need to get answered in a more timely manner. But other than that, I hope you guys all have a great rest of your Friday, and I hope you all have a great weekend. Have a good one. Bye. I'm, have a good one, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>